Good morning, beautiful people. This is Nellia Costa, and I am here to say good morning, to check in with you all, see how you are faring on this full moon that is moving into the sign of Libra. Equal, you know, balanced energy. Um, but there's also, you know, a lot of other planetary things going on. Pluto. Just, you know, for the first time in 200-ish years. Moving out of the sign of Capricorn into Aquarius. So the different astrologers I've listened to, you know, were moving from that slow earth and water energy of Capricorn and Pisces were moving into air for Aquarius and everything is moving everything is moving so there's a lot of different pieces there's a lot of moving parts moving planets um, but ultimately there is big change in the air. There's a lot of change in the air. And for us personally, it's really a time, an invitation to look inside ourselves and to really ask those deep questions. You know, what is it that I really want? What feeds my soul? You know, and Oftentimes we're so busy running around being part of the rat race, you know, but don't forget if you win the rat race, you're still a rat. Yeah. Uh-huh. There's that. Um, there is that. So it really comes down to what is it that's going to feed your soul, you know, and maybe for some of you, it's I want to start my own business doing XYZ. For others of you, it might be I want to partner with a company that is ethical, that is moral, that is doing right by people. Some people find that in the medical field. They feel like, you know, I love healing people. There are different modalities of healing. Perhaps you're a Reiki practitioner. Perhaps you teach EFT. Perhaps, you know, who knows? Yoga, massage, deep tissue, you know, massage therapy. All of these different fantastic things, modalities that you could do that would be healing. But is that what you're called to do? Nobody can answer that but you. You know, and oftentimes we find ourselves in places in our lives where, you know, we're living lives that are not our goals and dreams. You know, whether we're, my mom always wanted to, me to be an astronaut, you know, so I'm going to try really, really hard. I really don't like space and math really isn't my thing, but I'm going to do this because my mom wanted me to, you know, <laughs> I know somebody whose mom always wanted him to wear a tie to work. <laughs> it's like, I would hang myself with the tie if I had to wear a tie to work every day. Everybody has that different thing, you know, that what's for you is not for me. And thank the gods, because how boring would it be and how competitive and how just ridiculous if everybody liked the same thing no I want your jelly donut no you know it's like no some people want jelly donuts some people want Boston cream some people want the French gorilla you know it's thank the gods thank the gods for variety and that is with us as well and our soul's purpose and what sparks that fire and that flame within our hearts what is it for some people it's insurance some people get really fired up about you know is your house properly protected 
is your life properly protected for the love of Peter? You know, you insure everything, your house, your car, your business, your freaking lawnmower, like, and you don't insure your life that you need not only to continue to procure said items, but also to enjoy them. Like, it just seems silly to me. So some people can get really passionate about that. You know, it really is just a matter of taking that deep breath, getting really clear with yourself and being like, what is it exactly that I want? What is it that I want? One of my favorite movies is The Notebook. And at one point, he asks Allie, what do you want? And she can't answer. And Noah asks her again, what do you want? And she still couldn't answer. And oftentimes, like I was saying before, we get so tied up in that nine to five. Gotta, 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 gotta get the kids. Gotta, go, gotta, 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 gotta. And what you really gotta is to take the time to sit with yourself and say, okay, Elizabeth, here we are. All right, Michael, here we are. Where do we go now? Are we happy where we are? Do we wake up, you know, excited, hopefully, to go to work or the office or the farm or the forest or wherever you go? Or are you like, holy hell, it's another day. When is the weekend? When is my next day off? This is terrible or some mixture thereof. But I work with some people who literally, it's like there's six and a half hours left. There's four hours left. Two hours and 12 minutes, Bob. It's probably not a good fit. It's probably not a good fit. If that's how you feel, it is probably not a good fit and you might want to rethink that, you know, and really take that time. Use the creative energies that are hovering in the universe right now, just there, just waiting to be like, poof, here is your magic. Here is your dream come true. Here is your genie in a bottle, right? Like, but you need to know what you're asking the genie for. What are you asking your genie for? What is it? Take some time on this full moon night or day or whenever you have the chance in the next 24 hours to 48 hours or any full moon truly because my videos, I intend to be timeless so that whenever you have that desire to click on a video my intention is that the message is relevant to you at that point in your life, regardless of when the video is recorded. So whenever you find me, hello, I am Nelia. It is nice to meet you. I am glad you're here. If you find this content to be beneficial, please like, share, subscribe. And um, I hope you have a magical day and a magical life. Be well.